Hi guys, welcome back to Fashion School with Nick Varios. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to drape a cow top. <laughs> okay, so in case you don't know what a cow top is, these are examples from my line, Nikolaiki, the high-end line, and NV, Nick Varios, of cowl designs. Here's a cowl gown, kind of plunging, and this is a cowl dress. But the cowl is this shape that you see right here. It looks like waves. You can have it very plunging, ooh, or higher if you want. See, just like that. So, these are cowl tops. I'm gonna show you how to do one. Okay, so before you start draping your cowl top, you're gonna need to prep your muslin. Ideally, you want a nice, perfect square. I would say 34 by 34 is a good size. And then the next step is to find the true bias of your cut muslin. Now, the bias runs diagonal on your fabric. You wanna go like that, see? Oh, there's the bias. So how do you find it? Draw a perfect square right around the middle of it. So I'm gonna do that right now with my ruler, okay, that's right there, and then right in the middle, the diagonal, that is my true bias, okay? Now I've done it in pencil, but what I'm gonna do is also do it in a Sharpie so you guys can see it. And now you're ready to start your draping. <laughs> okay, so you're ready to drape. Take your muslin, remember? Got your muslin, it's like 34 by 34. You've marked the bias. Mark right there, the true bias. And to start, you want that true bias to be in the center front of the form. Do you see that right there? But before we do that, I suggest finding about a mark maybe 15 inches below one of the corners, right around there, okay? And fold it, fold it. That's gonna become your neckline, all right? You fold it and see, place, the bias mark right here. This is how deep I want my cowl. So place your bias mark right there, pin it. Make sure you pin it down, okay? Now take one side, holding it with your forefinger, bring it up to the shoulder, all right? And then pin there. Now, trust me, it's gonna work, because I know right now you're looking at that and you're like, what's going on? That doesn't look too cowly. And then now take the other side, hold this down, see? Hold that down, take the other side and bring it up to the other shoulder, okay? And now you've got that down. Now it's kind of creating something, so now watch. Now what you wanna do is make sure that this stays at the center front. Now you can drape your cowl. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this up lightly, bring it up, and start my draping. So watch, I'm gonna bring one fold and pleat to one side. Whatever you do to this side, do to this side. Okay, bring it up, fold it, and look, see? Now you're creating the cowls. Now if you want another cowl, here's another advice. Do this with your hands. Create the waves that you want. See, just create the waves, look at that, see? Look, see, it's creating the drape. And let it talk to you, let it speak to you. Don't force it. See this drape, see what's happening here? If you want, then create a fold right there. Because it's almost telling you, hey, make me a fold right there. Then look again, here, do you see this right here? See that? Bring it up, bring it up lightly, bring it up and then fold it, place a pin, all right? And the whole time, make sure that this is stays at the center front. You don't want this grain to start looking like that. You don't want it to go askew. You want the bias to stay right at the center, basically. Now, if you are satisfied with the cowl, and I kinda like this cowl, then now you can pin your grain line, your bias grain line, find where the waist is, put a pin right there, put another pin right there. Do you see that? Okay, now the next step is you want to drape the rest of the cowl around the body. But watch, look what's happening. Pulling, okay, that's stress. How do we relieve that stress? Clip and ah. Watch, 
The first clip you're gonna do is right at the center front. So I'm gonna take my scissors and then just watch. Look at the stress, look at the stress, look at the stress, and then the stress goes. Now see, look, a little bit of stress. Cut horizontally, just like this. Now see the stress, see right there the pulling? Watch. <gasps> oh, see, you cut and off. So I'm gonna do it again. Cut, see the stress right there, see it? Cut and aw. Now, see how I'm lightly, lightly draping. Do not pull. Do this again. Oh, no, he didn't. Now, once you get to the side seam, then you're done right there. And then place a pin. If you want, place pins right there as well. Okay? And now, here at the side, then you can do this as well. But before you do that, do the rest of the waist. So do the same thing. Repeat those steps. Cut horizontally. The stress, get rid of the stress. How do you get rid of the stress? Clip and, ah, oh. okay, watch. See? One, two, and then I'm gonna do another one right here. And be careful, you don't clip too high. You wanna go right up to the waist. You can kind of feel it. And then, just pin. Pin right there. Pin right there and right here. Okay, and now you can drape the side seam. So just drape, just smooth. You don't wanna pull. Smooth to the side seam, pin. Smooth to the side seam, pin. Smooth. Okay, just smooth it. I'm gonna do the same thing for this side. Smooth, you don't wanna do this. Okay, see, it's talking to you. It's saying don't do that. <laughs> you want to just smooth it with your fingers. Just smooth. Smooth over to the side seam and smooth, okay? Now see this right here? Look, you just want to soften it up to just follow the drape right there, okay? Create a nice drape and now we've got our cowl. Look at that, almost done. Now mark. Now, I'm gonna take my marker, but you should use a pencil. Mark your waist with little broken lines, just like that and stop at the side seam. Put a little cross mark when you get to side seam. Do the same thing here. Then at the side seam, mark your side seam. Carefully, carefully come up to the arm plate. Go one inch below and then draw your armhole. Slight curve. Just come up, come up, come up. Then you come up to the shoulder. Mark your shoulder. Do the same thing to the other side. Okay, so watch. The side seam, side seam, side seam, come up to the arm plate, go down, and then bring it up right here in the armhole, and you draw the shoulder. Now, question, why do I go down one inch below the armhole? It's because if you go right up to the armhole, it's too close to the armpit. You want to have that space, all right? Because you don't want the top to come up right, right up there, okay? Because that's annoying. <laughs> now, cut, all right? Cut any excess, watch. Carefully, just cut, cut. And then if you want, cut this. Trim, trim, trim. Then now here. And that is what we call a cow. Thank you for watching Fashion School with Nick Varios. Now don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and leave your comments below. Now if you have any suggestions on videos you'd like to see, leave those under the comments also. For more tips and tricks, get my new book, A Passion for Fashion. It's available on Amazon.com right now.